Hey, listen, I don't need to say much because this bishop done said it all. This this bishop right here, listen, I, I don't know if he knows me or, you know, uh, what he feels about me. But, man, I love everything that I see uh, from him. He's clearly just, you know, authentic. He's real. Uh, he's not bowing down. He's not watering down. He's not compromising for people. He's just a straight shooter. And that's what we need more of. A lot of guys are just too scared to speak the truth because, you know, especially as a black man, you're supposed to think a certain way. Um, and if you don't, you know what I'm saying, they, they they try to shut you out. They try to blackball you. As many of you guys know, I've been blackballed uh, in Christianity. That's why you don't see me, um, you know, connected to too many people. There's a lot of like private conversations, you know, old, you know, blah, blah, blah. But that don't matter. Let's play this clip. Oh, she's uh, running for the vice presidency. I call her Miss Lockupper, brother, for when she was the AG in California, a, a Negro knew, a black man knew that he was dead in the water. He was dead in the water. Matter of fact, you don't need a trial. You might as well go into jail if you appear before her because she took pride in locking up black folk. And now all of a sudden she's trying to be sister girl. I'm telling it. Check out her record. She locked us up left and right. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, you did, Kamala. Kamala, however I should pronounce it, you did. And now we're supposed to forget all that stuff. And uh, and she boasted in California that she was one of the first. I got the tape cued, but my time's up today. One of the first. I could show. I showed you Thursday night to perform a same-sex marriage. Y'all want to see it? Do you want to see it? Let it rip. Let the rings exchanged and the vows declared symbolize your commitment, sincerity, and affection. Yeah. And may your love never falter. May your love never falter. By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the state of California, I now declare you spouses for life. Cut, cut, cut. Now, 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 now that. That, that, that is who supposed to deliver us. Now, are you crazy? I, I like what my Angelo says. She said, when the people show you who they are, believe them. That's Kamala. And let me tell you, anybody who's trying to turn America into Sodom and Gomorrah is not good for this nation. She's not good for the state. And she ain't good for black folk. Born male, women born female. We need real people. Wow! Oh! Somebody shout something to God. They have their agenda. This is why they're trying to stay home. Stay home. Don't go out. Stay home. They're trying to break you. Break your mind so that they can get in place and promote open borders, which would flood the country with illegals where they'll take the rest of the job that black folk used to have. They want to bring in socialism and Marxism, forms of government that teaches that God is not the deliverer and that our rights do not come from God, but that government is God and that we must serve the state. It is Antichrist. That's what's behind, praise the Lord, keeping all this stuff going. You think people are just protesting? Have you, have you ever asked them, why are you protesting? Why are you still doing it? What's, what's wrong now? Oh, they're being paid to do it. They're being paid to do it. George Soros is financing Antifa. And uh, they've given Black Lives Matter millions of dollars, hundreds of millions. Any black businesses seen that money? Any of the black communities seen that money? Any black kids trying to go to college seen any of that money? If you read what they say they're for, they don't mention the black male one time. They're not for the black male. And you can't have a black community without the black male Pre wooden they say that they are trained Marxists Marxists they are not for you they are not for me this is the spirit of Antichrist and I will not allow the devil to break my mind you won't break my spirit for I heard the Lord say no weapon 
So as you can see, just absolutely fire. I love it, man. Like, I love it. I love when men of God, women of God are bold and they just speak facts and they speak truth. And, and sometimes, hey, you got to speak the unpopular truth. Some people, oh, just stick to preaching the gospel, just, you know, stick to preaching, you know, scripture. But the reality is, if you're a Christian, you got to love the truth. That's that's biblical to love the truth. And so, you know, what I'm saying he just he's the truth will set you free. Some people have certain mindsets and perspectives and feelings because the Bible says, how can they hear without a preacher? You know, so you got to push back on those false narratives. You, you got to understand as a pastor, you got the media telling your people what to think. You got, you know, Hollywood telling your people what to think. You got the schools telling your people what to think. And you got to push back at a lot, push back on a lot of that stuff. The uh, seven pillars of society, you know, that's what they, they call it. They use a lot of that stuff to try to indoctrinate people. So, you know, pastors, we got to be aware. We don't want to be ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, Satan is using everything he can to get messages out there and, um, you know, to deceive people. And the Bible talks about a great, you know, strong delusion. So I salute this man of God, man. I, I just love what he's doing and we need more like him.